Final segment of the fourth hour. Before we get back into more news, I just want to touch upon CNN right now because they've put out a tweet about this uh, stabbing in the airport there in Michigan. We know from eyewitness reports that the terrorist said Allah Akbar as he was stabbing this police officer in the neck. CNN comes out with a tweet. Preliminary indications on Michigan airport suspect said something in Arabic before stabbing officer, officials say. No, we know what he said. It was reported hours and hours ago by all the eyewitnesses. This is what I mean. This is what I'm talking about. When they report, for example, after the uh, mosque attack, immediately, he said, I want to kill as many Muslims as possible. They trusted the eyewitnesses. They reported the quote. Fair enough. But you flip it round. You had the stabbing in London a few weeks ago. Three Muslim women attack another woman with knives. Start stabbing her, start screaming about Allah. They interview one of the eyewitnesses to the attack. They cut out, and I made a video on this. They cut out, they sense the part where she says the attackers said Allah. CNN in this case, oh, he said something in Arabic. We may never know. We may never know his motivation. It was reported hours ago. Again, that's soft censorship. They just say, yeah, he may have said something Arabic. We'll, we'll let you know. Next day, everybody's forgotten about it. This is what they do every single time. It's despicable, and it's an agenda right in front of your face. Fourth of July summer special is still available at InfoWarsStore.com. We have free store-wide shipping on BrainForce Plus, Super Male Vitality, and all the great products. 30 to 40% off while supplies last. This is the July 4 mega summer special from Facebook censorship to attacks on our funding sources. InfoWars is under an unprecedented globalist siege on all fronts. We need your support more than ever, and you can take advantage of that special with huge discounts on all your favorite products at InfoWarsStore.com. A few final news stories here. Didn't get to this yesterday, but it's an important story. Muslim peace march against terrorism attracts more journalists than participants. Now, this was in Cologne, Germany, on the weekend. They said they were expecting 10,000 Muslims to show up and march against Islamic terrorism. How many showed up? 300. Most of them journalists. 300. The so-called Muslim peace march against terrorism was organized in Cologne, but it drew far fewer participants than the organizers had hoped for. Most of them were German the social democratic politicians said there were more journalists and policemen than protesters. So that's how much uh, they're interested in decrying terrorism. Again, you have to sympathize with them to some degree because if they do decry terrorism, then that paints a target on their back in many cases because these communities are ghettoized, they're radicalized. But that just is a blinding example of the problem that we have. Of course, the initial reports oh, 10,000 Muslims are going to show up for an anti-terror march. Oh, my God, that completely dismantles the narrative that there isn't enough of an element calling out the extremist element within their community. That's reported widely. The march actually happens. Nobody shows up. Everybody forgets about it. That's what happens every single time. Woman 28 is raped nine times by three asylum seekers who filmed the brutal attack on their mobile phone after ambushing her at a town fair in, you guessed it, Germany, who's invited in two million Muslim refugees. A tearful woman broke down in court in Germany as she alleged that three asylum seekers raped her a total of nine times when she was ambushed at a town fair. So that's going through the courts. They'll probably claim to be 15 years old, like happens every time. They'll probably get away with a slap on the wrist, like happens almost every time. YouTube's a pro-refugee propaganda video, by the way, not doing too well. Go and see the downvotes on that. That's going to wrap it up for the show, though. InfoWars Nightly News coming up. Breaking news at InfoWars.com. <laughs> In ancient times, man roamed the earth in a constant state of hunting or being hunted. Introducing Caveman, where cutting edge science meets ancient super nutrients. Secure your bottle right now at InfoWarsStore.com.